place to learn help videos. How to set OpenOffice as the default app for opening Word documents, PowerPoints and spreadsheets. Start by clicking on your start menu. From here, open up settings. Once the settings window has opened, go to apps. Within apps, look on the left hand side for default apps. On the default apps window, scroll down and look for choose default applications by file type. It will take a few seconds to load this list. Once the list has loaded, we're going to start by looking for Word documents. The file type for these are .doc or .docx. So we're going to scroll down to the D section as it's listed alphabetically. Once you've found .doc, select the program in there and find the logo for OpenOffice. This is OpenOffice Writer. Then continue to scroll down to .docx. Do the same thing again change from the current default to OpenOffice Writer. Once you've done this, we're going to look for PowerPoint files which end in .ppt or .pptx. And we're going to do the same thing again, but this time we're going to change the default to OpenOffice Impress. It normally takes a few seconds to update each change. Once the computer's ready, the next file type will change is .pptx, and we're going to do the same again. After waiting a few seconds, we're now going to scroll down towards the bottom of the list to look for spreadsheet files which end in .xls and .xlsx. .xls. And we're going to do the same thing, changing from the current default to OpenOffice Calc. To giving it a few seconds to update, we'll then find .xlsx and do the same thing for the final time to change from the current default to OpenOffice Calc. Once this is updated, you can click on the cross at the top right hand corner to close the settings window and your settings should now be changed. This also works for changing other file types. If you use another program instead of OpenOffice, such as LibreOffice, you can use the same method for changing the file types to open with LibreOffice instead. Or if you'd like to switch back from OpenOffice or LibreOffice to Microsoft Office, then you can do the same method but instead of clicking OpenOffice, you just switch each app back to Microsoft Office. If you need a hand or any assistance with this at all, please give us a ring.